Hey guys, uh, Dave here from Silver Diamond. Today we're going to talk about uh, worm food and making up your own blend of worm food. And uh, this is a real quick, simple video. Everything that you need to make some good worm food is readily available, uh, cheap if not free. I'm no expert on raising worms. I've just been my second year of doing it and my worms are really thriving, really doing good. I try to stay consistent with a few of the things that I put in. And number one is I like to use a land mess that uh, for the chickens and this has got a good source of calcium for your worms. I don't really worry about measuring too much. It's just kind of what I what I have on hand. I had some bird feed that I made. It's got some sunflowers and crushed corn. And I want I'll just take a handful. Now normally I make up I spend a couple hours to make up, you know, 20 pounds or so because uh, I'm starting to get quite a few worms and these these guys really go through some food. Another thing I like to throw in is dried molasses, soybean hulls, and uh, the soybean hulls, you know, they're just pelleted. It's uh, basically a cheaper form of cattle feed. I don't know how well you can see that, but it's, they're just pellets. I don't, I even take, this is some corn shuckings from this year. It's the, I haven't had a whole lot, so when I do a, a big batch, I gotta let my corn get a little bit drier out there on the stock before I, before I pick it. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it all in the blender. Try not to make too big of a mess from getting in trouble. I'll put the whole cob and all. Uh, you can try to break it up a little bit. But this just gives a whole a good a wide variety of uh, substance for the worms and if I take one of these things away they still I'm, I'm not totally switching up their diet. Leaves are one of the best things to put in there, and these guys really, really tear this stuff up. Put a little bit more, and then I don't have power here, so I've got to blend it over here. I'll sift it. Uh, could you put it all in there whole? Would they eat it? Absolutely. It just it's going to take them a while to, we can break it down a lot faster than, than they can. So, whatever don't get uh, ground up, we'll just put back in there. We'll do one more little. Go ahead and finish all this stuff off. That cob didn't work out so well. Anyway, here's the last little bit of it. We're calling good after that. We could save this. Might just put it in the in the batch. Could save that for next time or put it in. All right, I have to get rid of the evidence here. And now what you got is a good fine powder. Once you get quite a few worms, that this won't last very long at all. This will this will go really really quick. Now what we got to do is go downstairs and uh, feed it to the worms. So thanks guys for watching this. Hope you learned something. Uh, key points is you know we'll try got five, seven, eight different things in here. And as the seasons change, you take away one or two of them, 
the worms still got a diet that they're, that they're used to and not a lot changes. Breaking it down just speeds everything up and you'll have castings and bigger worms and you'll have them fast. About time to go feed them and thanks guys, have a great day, God bless.